Hey guys, and welcome back to another toy review. Now I'm finally getting to my Iron Spidey pop, and man, it's been a while since I've done a pop review. I've missed these guys. The commons, of course, not the exclusives. The exclusives just irritate me because I can never get them, and you know, that ain't cool. Anyways though, onward ho! Starting with the front of the box, we get the awesome Infinity War logo and a partial pick of Spidey. Here's one side, and the other side with the sweet glam shot of Spidey. Although his eyes seem a little bit small in that picture. Here's a top, and here's a back with all the other guys. I have Iron Man here. Now I'm tempted to get the rest of these, but between these and the Hero Vision figures, I mean, that's a lot of dinero, so I shouldn't, shouldn't. And here's bottom with the Hot Topic UPC. And there he is, guys, the Iron Spidey. He's so shiny. Starting with the head, we get the same head sculpt as the Homecoming Spidey Pop. Like seriously, check this out. I mean look, they got the same eyes and everything. Look at the back too. Exact same head sculpt. In fact, it's pretty much the same as headphones buddy as well, aside from the glued on headphones and the one squinting eye, so I think Funko's really milking this Spider-Man head sculpt like for a serious. But I really love this gorgeous glossy red paint that they used. It looks like a candy red paint that you would find like on a custom car. I mean, just look at the shimmer on that. Woo! And if you look closely, you can see that they added a very fine metallic glitter to it to give that extra oomph and shine. And the paint goes all the way down to the neck hole here, which is awesome. Although the inside is white, which is kind of, it's kind of cool looking actually. Now mine has these weird artifacts on his eyes. It looks like some, I don't know, hair or some foreign object got on there or something when they were painting it. So that's kind of a bummer. Hopefully it doesn't bother me later, but at least the rest of the head is just really well applied and smooth. So I can, I, th I think I should be able to overlook that. Maybe. Now moving on down to the body, we get more awesome. Now the body is molded in this beautiful, rich blue color that just looks Awesome, and the design of this suit is actually sculpted in and raised as you can see to give it that 3d look So Funko didn't just cheap out and just put a paint application They actually sculpted it in which is really sweet And of course they added some more of that gorgeous red candy paint there as well as a shimmery gold Now the impressive part about the gold here is they actually applied it right onto the raised sculpt here of the little suit design line And that's a very narrow line and look there's like pretty much no bleeding at all, which is very impressive. And of course the awesome skull continues on to the back there. More of that candy red paint. And I'm really digging that spider design on the back. It just looks really cool. But going back to the front here, they added some really deep sculpting into his abs, but it looks a little weird. And the problem is the top torso and the bottom torso are actually two different pieces and they didn't quite line it up correctly when they glued it. So there's that weird gap there. You can see the blue. So. That's kind of like, meh, as long as you, but depending on the angle, you, you don't notice it, so meh. Moving into the arm here, we see they put a ton more of that red glossy paint there, as well as that shimmery gold. It looks like a really thick coat as well, because you actually don't see any of the blue bleeding through, which is quite impressive, honestly. Especially considering you can still see the sculpting detail underneath. Now this hand's pretty cool, because he's doing his trademark Spider-Man web sling. This hand though, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be doing because it's like a little cupping motion like he's supposed to be holding something but he's got nothing there so I don't know maybe there's supposed to be a briefcase or something. Whoa. Yo. First to see the poster for the movie. Enjoy Mark Ruffalo. Now the thighs here have some nice suit style design sculpting all the way around which is pretty sweet. I really like the design of this suit. And he also has some nice gold on his knee pads there which go all the way around which is also cool. But as you probably already know, the boots here have a gorgeous dosing of that red paint. It's like they just dipped it in there. And then as you can see they have that nice gold lining as well and it's thick and it's sharp and it's clean lined and everything. And then the, the look at the look at the blue right here as well. It's a clean line. It's just like I don't know what machine they use to like put the paint apps on this thing, but they need to use it more often. And here's the bottom of the feet. Some more shiny redness. I seriously just love this red paint. It's just so like, it makes me just want to lick it or something. Like, oh, 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 don't lick it. Oh my God, it tastes like chemical. All right, and now for some comparisons. Here's Homecoming Spidey and Headphone Homecoming Spidey. Here's a mischievous flash and the Red Ranger. There's, there's a theme going on here, guys. Can you guess what it is? 
Yep, you got it. They're all facing the camera. What? Well guys, if you're a fan of Marvel, Infinity War, Spidey, or just of shiny things in general, you owe it to yourself to pick up this pop. The gorgeous paint and detailed scope will put a smile on your face. In fact, the only toy I have that even comes close to the richness of the red that Spidey has here is my Marvel Select Hulkbuster. But even then, like I said, he only comes close. Also guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Now I'm not sure if I want to do the Pop Iron Man or the Hero Vision Iron Man next. So if you guys have a preference, just let me know in the comments below and the winner will be next. Anyways guys, I want to thank you for joining me on this Iron Spidey Funko Pop review and I hope you had as much fun watching it as I did making it. Well, it's been fun guys, but that's the end of the review. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.